Hello and welcome to another quick scrap mechanic tutorial. Today, I'm going to explain how to make a really easy piston pulsar. I'm Mechaneer23, let's get into it. So to start off, I just have a really simple platform. For this system, we want to have a few pistons that are going to extend and hold a block in a desired location. So I'm going to set both of these pistons to a range of 15 and a speed of slow. So the idea is we're going to have one button which makes the pistons extend, one button that makes the pistons retract, and a switch to turn the whole system on, and then uh, these you can control the exact position of the pistons. So let's do the logic. This only takes seven gates. We need two gates for one piston, two gates for the other piston, and a simple three clock pulsar to make the whole system work. So we're gonna tie up the pulsar first. In order to make it actually pulse, we need to set one of the gates to a NOR. As soon as you do that, it's gonna start pulsing. So in order to turn this off, we're going to plug our switch into one of the AND gates. So we have AND and NOR, and they're all in a loop, and when you turn the switch on, the system pulses, and when you turn it off, the system stops. Okay, so now let's do one side. We need to set our first gate to an OR gate, and our second gate to an AND gate. And then on the other side, we're going to do the opposite, so we have a NOR gate and an AND gate. Now, we just need to hook up the output from the clock to the input of both of these systems and then hook these systems together. Then the output of these smaller systems can directly output to the pistons. The issue with this is that one piston immediately starts extending. So we need to tie our switch into these last AND gates as well to make sure that nothing extends uh, while the system is off. So if we turn it on, both pistons pulse, and because they're set to the same length and speed, the block on their face stays in the exact same spot. Now we can tie in our switches. So we want one switch to go to one piston side, so we're going to tie it in to the OR gate, and the other switch is going to tie into the NOR gate. And then both switches are going to also tie into the NOR gate in the loop. And now, if we press one switch, both pistons extend, and this moves the block. And then if we press the other button, both pistons retract, moving the block back. And if you stop at any minute, any position, the block is going to stop. So this is really helpful for things like crane arms, where you can control every position of the block. And then, in order to stop it pulsing, you can just turn off the switch and it'll all retract to the default position. Like always, remember to like if you liked it, subscribe if you loved it, and comment if you have any questions. Until next time.